Good morning, a grade four students. How are you today? I hope you are doing great. Our lesson for today is module eight, Top Stars, part two. Let's start. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify the rule of the future going to correctly. Use the future going to in speaking and writing. You will find this lesson in your student's book pages number 92 and 93 and workbook pages number 95 and 96. And now I want you to open up your student's book page number 92 and have a look at activity number 2. Let's find the answers for the following questions. Let's start with frame number 1. What are the children going to do? Can you answer this question, Ahmed? Yes. They're going to drive through the park and see the animals. How about feeding the animals? They aren't going to feed the animals. Let's move to frame number three. What's the baby giraffe going to do, Toma? It isn't going to hurt him. It's going to eat some leaves. Frame 4. What's throwing sand going to do to Omar? It isn't going to help him. Great job, Ahmed. <laughs> Let's move to the student's book, page number 93 and read the logbox together. The giraffe is going to eat some leaves. The aunt is going to visit the wildlife park on Saturday. What do you notice there? What do you think about the highlighted words? I want you to pause the video and think about these two questions. Don't forget to share your ideas with your friends and teachers. Welcome back. Let's discuss our ideas together. The highlighted words that we have seen are called future going to. We use the future going to to express or talk about our future plans. And the time expressions are the keywords that we are using whenever we are talking about the future going to are as follows. Tomorrow, soon, the day after tomorrow, tonight, in an hour, two hours, a week, and you can also add a month or a year. Next, week, month, Sunday, or any day. In the week. Let's learn more. The first thing we need to focus on here is verb to be because we will need it when we learn about the future going to. Let's start with the singular pronouns with verb to be. I am. He is. She is. It is. Let's move to the plural pronouns with verb to be. We are, you are, and they are. Let's start with the first part. How to use the future going to in the affirmative form. And remember, in that part, to avoid using the word not. As you can see here in this table, that we have two different types of forms, the full form and the short form. The full form will show you how to use verb to be without abbreviation. And the short form will show you that we can use verb to be in an abbreviated form. Let's have some examples. I am going to play. I'm going to play. He is going to play. He's going to play. 
She is going to play. She is going to play. It is going to play. It's going to play. If you look at the top here, you will see that we used the full form of verb to be, am and is. And for the short form, we used apostrophe M and apostrophe S. Let's continue. You are going to play. You're going to play. We are going to play. We're going to play. They are going to play. They're going to play. If you look at the top here, you will see that we used the full form of verb to be are. And in the short form, we used apostrophe re. And to make a sentence using a future going to in the affirmative form, we need to start the sentence with the pronouns I, he, she, it, we, you, or they, plus verb to be am, is, or are, plus going to, plus verb in the base form or in the infinitive. Let's have some examples. I'm going to buy a new car tomorrow. It's going to rain tonight. He is going to feed the animals. We're going to have a picnic next week. We're going to visit the wildlife park soon. Now let's move to the second part. How to use the future going to in the negative form. And remember in that part, we use the word not to express or show that we do not agree or refuse something. Let's have some examples for the full form and the short form. I am not going to play. I'm not going to play. He is not going to play. He isn't going to play. She is not going to play. She isn't going to play. It is not going to play. It isn't going to play. If you have a look at the top here, you will see that we used the full form of verb to be in the negative form. Am, not, is, not. And for the short form, we used the abbreviation apostrophe M plus not, is plus in apostrophe T. Let's continue and have some examples of the full form are not and the short form aren't. You are not going to play. You aren't going to play. We are not going to play. We aren't going to play. They are not going to play. They aren't going to play. If you look at the top here, you will see that we used the full form of the verb to be in the negative form are not. And for the short form, we used aren't. R plus N apostrophe T. And to make a sentence using the future going to and the negative form, we need to start our sentence with pronouns I, he, she, it, we, you, they, plus verb to be am, is, are, plus not, plus going to plus verb in the pace form. Let's have some examples, but this time I want you to be careful and have a look at the sign at the top of each picture. I am not going to buy a new car tomorrow. He isn't going to feed the animals. It isn't going to rain tonight. 
They aren't going to have a picnic next week. You aren't going to play tonight. I'm not going to fly a kite. I'm going to do my homework. We aren't going to go to the amusement park. We are going to go to the wildlife park. It's time to speak. Open up your student's book page number 93, activity number 5. Put a tick or an X to complete the table about yourself. Guess your partner's answers. Then check the answers with your partner to find out if they are true or false. Let's listen to an example. You aren't going to visit a wildlife park next week. False. I'm going to visit a wildlife park next week. I want you to pause the video and think about this activity. Welcome back. Let's listen to our friends Ahmed and Noura. You aren't going to fly a kite. False. I'm going to fly a kite. We're going to make a collage. False. I'm not going to make a collage. You aren't going to go to an amusement park. True. I'm not going to go to an amusement park. You're going to do your homework. True. I'm going to do my homework. Great job. <laughs> Let's practice more. Open up your workbook, page number 95, activity number 2. Read and complete. In this activity, you will read the sentences and complete the spaces with the words in the blue box. Let's read them together. Am, isn't, aren't, am not, is, are. I will do the first one for you as a model. Jamal isn't going to come to the festival. He has to study for a science test. I want you to pause the video and think about this activity. Welcome back. Let's check your answers together. 2. The children are going to visit their grandparents this weekend. They are very excited. 3. Hassan is very tired. He is going to go to bed early. 4. I am going to become a pilot. When I grow up, I love planes. I will keep number five and six for you as homework. Let's practice again. Open up your workbook, page number 96, activity number four. Look and write, then write the children's names under the pictures. In this activity, you will look at the signs next to each sentence and write your own sentences. Then find out the correct picture for each name and write it under it. The first one has been done for you as a model. Let's read it together. Diane isn't going to visit the zoo. She's going to go to the amusement park. I want you to pause the video and think about the rest of this activity. Welcome back. Let's check your answers together. Two. Majid isn't going to watch TV. He is going to play football. Picture A. 3. Ali and Khalid aren't going to play board games. They are going to fly a kite. Picture B. 4. Judy and Lucy aren't going to cook lunch. They are going to make a cake. Picture D. Now let's do another activity. Write a paragraph of five sentences using the future going to to talk about your plans for the weekend. I want you to pause the video and think about this activity. Welcome back. Let's listen to our friend Ahmed. Next weekend, 
I'm going to go to the park with my family. My mom and dad are going to have a walk together. I'm going to play football with my brothers. We're going to have our lunch there. I'm going to take photos for this picnic to show them to my friends at school. Great job, Ahmed. What about you? Don't forget to share your ideas with your friends and teachers. At the end of this lesson, I would like to thank all of you. See you next time. Bye-bye.